Birds all has to be ready available year round. It's a well maintained plant. It has low hours. As a birds all is run uh, on a quarterly basis uh, to ensure all the equipment works correctly and the skill sets stay current on how to run the plant. There are emergencies. It could be for peak days or there's uh, some type of uh, power emergency around where we can't import or produce the power we need to produce. Uh, 1953 is when construction began. This is 16 megawatts. Uh, unit 2 is 16 megawatts and Unit 3 is 22 megawatts. Uh, unit 1 and 2 is, this was built in 1953, Unit 2 was built in 1954, and Unit 3 was built in like 1958. And it's been upgraded so it has all your modern safety equipment uh, to make sure that everything runs safe. A lot of times this plant will be started up just to ensure the reliability of the electric system. You have a a power plant that you still need, you know, for, for your reserves. Yeah. But it rarely runs, so how do you employ a full-time staff in a plant that doesn't run a lot? You know, it's, it's not a cost-effective solution. We have quite a few assets like this. Hydroelectric plants, we're the same way, you know, they're all over the place, but uh, they're very light maintenance and uh, they're run on man. And same with the propane air plant that we have out east, uh, you know, it has to be ready to run at all times, but it's rarely ran because it's used for emergencies. In 2005 is when a, a remote energy plants was created, and what we did is we got a group of people um, up here, and, and the total staff here is 12, and we operate and maintain all of those plants. Now it's winter, so there's not a lot happening with the hydroelectric plants, but we're out of the propane air plant, and then in the summer it goes the other way around. The hydros are uh, in more need of maintenance and operations. So, so with that, you, you have multi-skilled staff that can take care of all these assets at all times, and that's a great value for our customers, too. Right now, there's nine generating units associated with remotes. Uh, so it's a very effective way to manage all these assets.